this waterfall, the easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. All right, guys, we are back at it. Last time I left you, it was with setting a big, big, giant boulder. Now, I wanted to come back right away and show you what that big boulder looked like, but I figured I'd wait a little bit, let us get a little bit further so we can show you a little bit more of how this thing's looking right now. So without further ado, here we go. Boom. Look at some of the progress that's been made in just a day. So that was that big rock. Remember that post is gonna set down in here. We've gotten a lot more wall stuff in here. So th this is gonna be the swim area. In here, because we're aquascape, of course we wanted to set in some big boulders. Water level is gonna come right to there. We've also got our swim cove kind of set up in here. So this is the area where we'll have some stairs that come down into about two feet. It's actually 22 inches of water. But this is gonna be so much fun. Walking down into this area, sitting down, you'll be sitting at about a height like this, and then all this water is gonna come in from here, and then with jets, just be pushing out like so, and then pushing back that way. So these big rocks really help with circulation and forcing stuff out of here, and then of course, with the aid of the jets, everything will come out. If you were in here, then you could come this way. Oh good, the drawing's right here. So that area is right, the area we're in is right there. This rock is this rock right here we just changed it a little bit you see how straight this is we put this on a little bit of a 45 which is this angle right here comes out toy window is this area right over in here so we come down here and now you're really going to appreciate how big this boulder is say hi ed hey what's up no i said say hi <laughs> <laughs> look at the size of that thing and then all the cuts put around it so just that detail work so right now i'm standing in a little bit over four feet of water again water level is going to be right in here this wall separates our wetland filter so this has got to come up three more courses which will come right to about this level here that is that space back there Ed is standing on the foundation of this area right here where these spillway walls are coming just behind this wall this wall right here which will be underwater is this one here which will then have the Sun deck area with that like 8 10 12 inches of water we haven't quite decided so a lot has gotten done you can see Ed, just kind of explain why we did the centipede and the snorkel the way we did it. The reason we did it was because we were trying to save liner as well as try to simplify things. So the entire bottom of this excavation is relatively flat. We got a couple minor little troughs and things like that that we put inside of here. That was actually after the fact, but because we had high groundwater and a bunch of issues, it was going to be difficult. Normally we would come across flat bottom and kind of create a trench. Yep. So now what we did was we basically raised that trench. We built it out of old block that we had on site. Then we came in with more crushed stone that's going to give us a lot more structural uh, stability down here in the bottom especially with this expansive soil but it's still doing the same job so water gets distributed down through the bottom it's going to come up through the aqua box so the main thing is you want to have that centipede kind of in a trench and then everything else above it so when you go to clean it when water gets distributed going up everything functions the way it's designed so pull that fabric back we can show them how we built the trench just use some wall stone there built the trench then backfilled with a bunch of gravel through our thick geotech style over it then our aqua blocks then this wall will come up to our desired height which will retain all the rock and gravel and everything else which is really the heart of the, the yeah. way it, exactly that's going to give us the desired water quality especially for a recreational style <laughs> pond we want to make sure that the water quality is perfect not only for the fish but in case we decide to go swimming in it and because of that viewing window we want to make sure that we can look and see all the way through and so when we're sizing wetlands for these rec ponds yep. are, we, are we looking for 30%, 40%, 50%? It's kind of a sliding scale. The bigger the feature gets, the smaller the percentage is, and that's because a large body of water is more stable. For a pond of this size, we're at 50%. So our wetland it, filter is actually 50% of the total water volume, which is pretty huge. amazing. So this thing should be relatively clear. Oh, it should be really, really <laughs> clear. We'll plant it all up yeah, with aquatic this plants, is gonna look and awesome. it'll look spectacular. All right, today we're gonna finish this wall in here. We might get uh, some aqua blocks set back in there we could backfill some of this stuff and then we really really need to finish this wall this wall and then the wall on the outside because cody gilstrap 
out of is he Oklahoma, Arkansas? Oklahoma. Okay. Cody Gilstrap from Oklahoma is coming to start doing the deck, which sits right in this area here. The other thing we finished back in this space was uh, some of these stairs. So I don't think this stuff was done either. We've got our staircase that leads us back out of here. Staircase that's coming in. These are our treads. We just have a couple more to set in there. In fact, these treads we're gonna use as the coping for this whole thing, but we're holding off on dropping the coping in right now because we need to get cap lights underneath all this stuff, really all the way around. Are you feeling overwhelmed? <laughs> There's still a lot of work to do. Cody's coming in tomorrow. This whole thing has to be done in about eight days. Think we got it? Good. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, hold on tight. Enjoy the ride. We'll see how far we get. We know where the finish line is. Let's just see if we can get there at, at the pace that we've uh, set up. Here we go. Bye. Moving right along, things are like really, really, re really coming together. You can see our wetland filter kind of framed out here. So peek over the top of this wall. You can see all of our aqua blocks in here. This gets filled all the way up with cobbles and gravel and gravel and gravel. You can see our snorkel over there for the clean out. We've got one or two more pieces we've got to put in here. This is set about 12 inches below water level. So the wetland filter is just going to kind of pour out from here. We decided to do it that way because we could have actually raised this above water level and forced all the water to come through here but by keeping this all open from here to here it's really going to make the pond look that much bigger because you'll have 12 inches of water going back in here i would imagine too as these koi come in here and they spawn and reproduce this will become like a huge fish nursery where all the babies just kind of live amongst all these plants and everything else we've obviously got to raise that wall back over there behind the snorkel to keep our wetland contained and this is going to be finished this is gonna look really really good in here of course we've got to add some more boulders and all that kind of stuff to make it look pretty but that's just cosmetic stuff that you guys are all used to this area is set up for the height of that swim deck the water level in this area is gonna be what do we say at 12 inches 12 yeah. inches from there but by the time you get the nine there, inches of water nine inches of nine water, inches by the of water in here that'll support those chairs that we keep talking about those goofy little slopes so we put this wall in backfilled all of this with stone and gravel and then you you can see Ed back over here setting some more plates to do another wall. Ed, why don't you just let them know what we're doing so I don't have to climb up this wall again. <laughs> so what we're doing, we're putting in some more base plate on top of all the crust dome that we just backfilled inside of this little pocket, which is gonna be kind of that little sun deck area. On one side, we have the shallow sun deck. On this side, we're gonna put a layer of aqua blocks. So this wall is gonna come up, not just as high as this, but it's gonna go from here up to about this high, maybe even higher than that approximately but this is going to be that back edge of the of everything which is going to have the spillway balls it's also going to help to hide the mechanical filtering system pumps are going to be located in the corner i never like looking at the mechanical filter system even though it looks decorative if you don't maintain it on a routine basis you're going to have debris and stuff like that floating around inside of it so by tucking it behind this wall it's going to take care of all that stuff and it's going to look much cleaner and then also by having this big wall here it's going to be the perfect backdrop and it's going to kind of set the stage for that beautiful canopy that that we left right from the very beginning so a lot of stuff that has to happen next step after this come in with all of that gravel inside of the wetland and then we're gonna hop on the outside to get ready for the deck guys Alright, 
So you can see, again, that opening for a Koi window. Another big thing that's gotta get done in the next day or two is this seal. But before we do that, I've gotta get a wall put in here that'll mimic this wall right here. So I'm getting ready. I've got my plumb line set. I'm gonna get ready to level these bars so I can get my base material nice and level. It's gotta be exactly as the same height as that wall over there. And then I've gotta get another wall put in from here almost over to that stone because Cody Gilstrap out of Oklahoma is coming tonight and he needs this wall done so he can put the deck behind it. So we've got so much to do in, I don't know, I guess we have till tomorrow morning, so like 24 hours. <laughs> we might be pulling a late one tonight. Let's hope not, but uh, we might be. So I'm gonna get this wall done. Ed's working on that one. Maybe at some point we'll all work together because that's so much fun. You guys hang on tight as we continue to bust our butts out here. Thanks. Exciting moment. Ed and the guys over here are actually hooking up the brackets and everything that's necessary for that koi window. It's a lot like hooking up a skimmer. So you're gonna bring the liner up the face of that. That big metal plate there is more of the face plate of the skimmer box. It goes down there. You want to see more details on how that's exactly put together. Make sure you go to the Aquascape University where you'll see step by step on how to actually do your own koi window. On top of all that being done, we also got Cody Gillstrap out from Oklahoma here. He's mounted our post. Check out how cool that post looks coming down into the rock and he's laying out the pergola area over there. Chris hit yacked with a bunch of base material. I'm gonna start spreading out all that base material, get everything ready for that lower patio to go in because as soon as that gets done, Cody can then start laying out everything for the deck. Things are getting done, it's so awesome. <laughs> are in over here. Actually where you guys are sitting is the start of the intake bay. So we're gonna come in here with our large aqua blocks. These are gonna sit just like so. We got another one that sits in here. Before these go in, we're gonna throw a scrap piece of liner right over the top of our chips that gave us our base. Remember, the liner for this entire thing is right here. So this, we have one giant 40 by 50 foot liner that goes from here all the way over to that pergola. And then all of this wall stuff just sits on top of it. So we got our intake base sitting in here. We have two of our, X, our 12 XT pumps, which are gonna sit back over here 
here on a concrete pad. Suction lines will come down into here. We threw one more bolt in here just in the case that we wanted to get some more water at some point, but it's just there in case. The other fun thing is you see right here, these aqua box will continue all the way here like so. We're gonna take a strap piece of liner that comes from the bottom. It'll come up this way. Then these stone chips will come in like so. This creates the weir to suck everything in here. A big part of the design was to put it all behind this giant wall. So when sitting on this deck, you never saw all the pumps and all the suction and all of these leaves that are gonna circulate back into this intake bay over here. I really wanted to just hide all that stuff so it looks pretty all the time. <laughs> that was a long one. Friday, about 7.30, we're gonna call it quits because we're coming back tomorrow. But I am so happy with our progress. It definitely looks like a mess from here, but I'm just so excited on the way things are turning out. Cody, Killstrap from River Rock Water Gardens down south there, came with his guys. They got the pergola in. They got a bunch of everything sanded, tied down, helped us get some base material down for the patio like didn't have to do that but super cool and uh the other guys chris chris yaks what a huge huge help from all of his guys uh, they just did so well let me just like i can talk about it but i'm kind of tired so let's just turn it around and show you the progress so this happened today right we've been talking about the string that used to be there that post now comes down right in to the boulder so cool this patio will then extend out to another one of these walls right here there's gonna be some stairs that we got to do we've got to build another little wall here finish just putting the rock and gravel in our wetland and then this is done the pond window went in I'll show you a little sneak they wouldn't want me moving this styrofoam but we needed to put it up just to protect the glass well, let's give you guys a little peek of this so our windows in can't quite see through it yet because we still have rubber liner that we got to trim out but the window is in we got these rocks cut in at 40 45s, which will look awesome from here even better when you're looking back at it so that's all done we've got a couple more courses in here to finish up a couple more courses in there and I'm hoping if weather permits we can get that stuff done tomorrow you can see a tarp laid out that's because there's an 80% chance of rain we got all of this backfilled in here so Cody's gonna start doing that deck that comes out here remember now that deck is gonna cantilever out this way two feet which will really help disguise the intake bay as water rushes underneath it and then three feet out this way allowing people to effortlessly get down into the pond off the corner of the deck and then check out the beginning stages of that pergola it might be a small little pergola but boy does it make a huge impact i absolutely love the way it changes the whole feeling of the space we needed it this was just going to be too open without some kind of overhead structure this will get a bar top in it seating kind of on both sides we have some furniture that can go back in here and then let me show you my favorite view and it's from this corner over here I don't know there's a lot of great views but look at this old aqua gardens new aqua gardens oh yeah is that not gonna be just awesome so we've still got a bunch of stuff to do right backfill all this get the landscape in backfill all this get the landscape in obviously get our patio put down below bog filter all kinds of stuff but we've got another seven days so I think Think we're in good shape compared to what we've gotten done so far I think what we have left to do is just a lot of cosmetic stuff and we're good at that so that's a wrap you can see machines are still running back there I'm feeling raindrops right now I'm glad things are tarped let's see what happens tomorrow wish us luck thanks for tuning in see you tomorrow bye Hey, what's up everybody? Ed the Pond Professor here. We are currently working on the wetland filter. This is a really critical component for a recreational style pond because this is responsible for the detoxification of all the nutrients in the water, which is gonna deliver us the best water quality possible. So a couple days ago, you saw us putting in the snorkel, the centipede, all of those aqua blocks. 
That's the water distribution system. So we have fast moving water coming in. The water spreads out nice and evenly. Sedimentation process can occur. Then the water flows up through three different layers of river stone. The first layer is the large one that you see down here in the bottom. This is a two to four inch, so it's a big size river stone. On top of that, we're gonna come in with inch and a half to two inch gravel. Then the final layer is gonna be three quarter inch. Our next step is gonna be to finish putting the gravel down, wash it all down, pump the dirty water out. Then we're gonna be ready for water, hopefully later on this week. So from a design perspective, we're always thinking about the location of the wetland filter. I prefer to be in the back section because it's gonna be loaded up with aquatic vegetation and that vegetation is gonna get huge. That's part of that filtration process. So it's gonna be a good backdrop. So we have one exit point for all the water. So all that water is gonna come into the bottom. It's gonna overflow out that one low section over on the side. So what I'm currently doing, I'm going around with our foam gun and I'm sealing up all the other joints to ensure that all the water goes out just in that one location. This is gonna make sure that we get the desired circulation patterns that we're looking for on the project. Hey, good morning. It is Monday morning, the week before Pondemonium, and it is crazy, crazy, crazy. We've got so much stuff left to do. I'm really, really happy with what we got done last week, but this week, we still have to finish some of the walls inside the pond. We have to build the wetland filter. We have to finish the treads on the stairs. We have to finish all the coping stones. We have a patio to build down below everything else. You've got Cody Gilstrap and his guys from River Rock out here killing it with the pergola and the deck and the planter boxes and everything else and then I think we have some other stuff we still have to do like I've got to get ready for an artist of the year build we have a wetland we have to build up in front still like it's like oh my god but we've got everybody here we got all of team aquascape so we got Jack and Jack and Ed and Chris and Luis and 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 Juan we got all of Cody's guys and then we got the boys from Australia out here too which are just awesome all the boys from Bell's Water Gardens are out here so we've got a huge team we're still out here killing it you know what just go check on all the those guys because I'm in the machine most of the day because DK is out for the week taking a vacation. Yes, a vacation before pandemonium. Don't know how he pulled it off, but he did. <laughs> so I'm in the machine all day, running back and forth, back and forth, making sure this thing keeps rolling. And those guys are cutting and uh, scooping and doing whatever, whatever it else is they do out there. Go check out. the Jack Square team, we got JD and you got JP over here. And this is the first time that both of us have been on this job and it is awesome. We are currently working on this wall right now. This is the last wall of the pond that has to be finished right now. So we're coming in here and there was no wall block here. The base course was set and that was it. And we're coming in and we're just working our way up. We have to carve around this huge boulder right now. This is gonna be pretty cool because this area right here is gonna be a countertop reaching over the stairs, coming out over the pond. So it's gonna be awesome. You're gonna be able to stand on the steps, look down and you're gonna see straight down on the fish. You're gonna be swimming up. We've done this a few times, but this is going to be awesome to finally have something at Aqualand that we can come and see all the time. So it's a lot of painstaking cuts and moving back and forth and making sure you have it right because these rocks, as soon as you get into the full size range, it takes two or three people to lift these up. So we don't want to be doing this three or four times. So Jack is doing an awesome job on doing a lot of the cuts and stuff. I'm just kind of just feeding him rocks and measurements and stuff like that. So it is, uh, it's turned out awesome and I'm really liking how the projects turn out. Jack, you have anything? As Jack said, yeah, it's been our first day on this whole project and just just the amount of cuts it's taken for us to do 20 feet. I yeah. can't imagine the amount of work that these guys have done. An awesome job on doing the rest of this time. So glad it's turning out and uh, yeah, stick around to see the whole thing. Right now what we're doing 
doing is we're kind of finishing off one of the entrance points into this incredible water feature. We are setting up a series of steps that kind of walk you down into about two feet of water and then you get down into the four foot deep section. These steps are going to act as an ingress egress out in and out of the pond from here but we also have multiple locations that you can actually interact with the pond but this is only one of a couple different places to get in and out of the pond. The other section is over there where Cody and the rest of the guys from River Rock Builders are working. Once we get these steps set what we can do is we can start finishing off a lot of this edge work backfilling with soil creating some of these planting areas and really finishing off the rest of this area so also big reason we want to get this done is this is where people are coming and going in and out of working in this feature so by finishing up this area it will allow us as we're finishing the pond to easily get in and out of the pond we've kind of had the liner and a bunch of crap all kind of congested in this area working on it once we get this done it'll be free flow and, and make the project run a hell of a lot smoother from here on out I think it's been 15 days. Uh, yes. I don't even know. <laughs> I have no idea. It feels, it feels like 100. <laughs> but I'm actually super, super happy with where we've come. In the last two days, like jets are in. This staircase and this little swim cove is done. We've got our bowls done, not done, but at least at the final height up there. We actually have a finished edge on the back of the wetland. Which is like which actually looks, it and finished. And it looks incredible. It does, doesn't it? Looks incredible. And you are sitting on still the very first stone. Oh that we put in and still my favorite my favorite piece like it's so cool i agree i um, think the view from inside that window as well as from above everything just focuses on these big rocks so it gives it that hybrid pond type of a look which obviously that's us we have literally built thousands of ponds and together probably a thousand yeah right easily this is definitely the most unique pond oh. i've ever done and so awesome to do with you bud absolutely yeah, this it's been is incredible super cool <laughs> i am so excited to show you guys what this thing looks like running when fish are in here like some giant koi <laughs> some lily pads some other aquatics and stuff jets running that koi window it's gonna be awesome you guys thanks so much for tuning in you know what to do like comment subscribe check out ed the pond professor and i uh, will be sure to do this again for you soon all right make sure you tune into the next episode where we show the final reveal of this amazing swim pond